Um, speaking of the we that Kevin refers to, he is talking about the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Philadelphia Eagles, as I said earlier, have been rolling as they uh, have been killing it on defense. And uh, Jalen Hurts is doing just enough. Jalen Hurts has still been inconsistent, in my opinion. Um, but the the defense is carrying them. And we saw that a lot, Toddy. We've seen that a lot with the 49ers, where when Jimmy Garoppolo was the quarterback, the defense was carrying them. And That's so insane now- to compare the two. The disrespect will not be tolerated. <laughs> I, I saw I a little jab you trying to throw in there. That I understand. To- Jalen Hurts will to- that would not be tolerated. It Jalen Hurts hate would not be tolerated. You know, honestly, that's fair. I deserve to be cut off with that one because that was a bit egregious. <laughs> but oh, he's trying to be with it too, Toddy. <laughs> oh man, and weave it in so casually. Uh, but point being, Eagles are being carried by their defense. Eagles look really good, especially this is very important because Toddy and I, primarily me, like to bring up the fact that the Eagles had that drastic slide last year where. They started what, like ten and one, and finished eleven and seven, and um, and so or eleven and six, whatever it was. Anyways, the point is their defense collapsed last year, and so for the defense to be the backbone of this team now, Eagles are looking like real contenders. And so, Kevin, you're our expert when it comes to the Eagles on this show, especially without Kaz here to get a second voice. And so, tell us about your birds. I mean, fly Eagles, fly right. Big mute. You're damn right. Fly, Eagles, fly. Like I said, every week you've been gone, Sean. Toddy's been saying, Commanders, Kevin, how you feeling? Toddy, 14 points. Easy. Not even worried about it. You got Terry McLaurin in fantasy? Don't play him. You're real confident, Kev. I don't know. And then 15 minutes later, Sean goes in the group chat. Eagles haven't covered the spread. Toddy's like, Kevin, I don't know. I'm like, Toddy, if anything, this is the game. As a brother... I got you. This is where the money is. And what did he do? He didn't go. He went against me. Commander spread. First half, Eagles are the Eagles. We can't score. We can't keep drives going. But the one thing, like Sean mentioned, is our defense. Our defense is playing outstanding. Jalen Carter is arguably the best. Besides the Chris Joneses of the world, he is definitely put himself in that same tier as those guys because every game he is single-handedly taking over this game. We are seeing guys like Nolan Smith who have done nothing, but this year they're finally able to crack open under Vic Fangio and they're flourishing. We could talk, we can go dive, we we talk talk and talk and talk about this secondary. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, Reed Blankenship, Darius Big Play Slay, Quinn Yon Mitchell, a.k.a. The Warden, and Cooper DeGene. I tell Toddy every every Sunday. I know how the Boston Celtic fans used to feel when Larry when Larry Bird was playing. Thirty three is here. Thirty three is here. Thirty three is here. He's just making plays everywhere. So for this team to come in here and consistently have an identity, Sean, we the first couple games we didn't have an identity. We really didn't know what this team was going to be. Is this going to be like the twenty twenty two team where we're just putting up big games and? running the shit out of the ball because we have the title possession, or are we going to be a team that has to play defense? You know, this is arguably, not even arguably, and when people when I say this, people are going to say I'm crazy, but as an Eagles fan, this is the best defense Jalen Hurts has had. I get it. The Super Bowl run, third all-time in sacks, I get it. But if we look at the secondaries, yes, Bradbury played at an all-pro level, but we always struggled at the nickel because we always have to put Avante Maddox out there. So for us to now have Cooper DeGene out there, Brad, and Slay's not playing at the at a high level, but for him to play at a good enough level to not stick out with these young folks and show them the ropes, we were really butting heads with – it's it's funny because I listened to Eagles Pocket and they mentioned we were kind of like the Warriors. We were trying to contend but also build for the future. So we were really hoping on these young guys, the Jordan Davis, N'Kobe Dean, Jalen Carter, like we were uh, Nolan Smith – we were really hoping for these guys, Quinn Young Mitchell, Cooper DeGene, were really investing a lot into our young guys. So to see them get in that return only helps. And then we still got guys like Brandon Graham. Bryce Huff is finally starting to play football after six, seven weeks. So we're, we're really rolling here offensively. Saquon Barkley, I'm going to stamp it right here, offensive player of the year. I get it. It's neck and neck. Derrick Henry hasn't had a bye yet. The moment he has a bye, Saquon's going to go out there and put up, what, 196 scrimmage yards? 
And I think that's going to be the game. Yes, it is. This is really fucked up, but it's like the Ashanti Genty. They force feed Derrick Henry. We force feed Saquon, but we also force feed him through the air. So with the battle of force feeding, Saquon does it through the air and he runs the ball. So I know a lot of people are really pushing for Derrick Henry. I get it. He Hall of Famer. I get it. Touchdown leader. But Saquon has had nine touchdowns that landed at the two or shorter. Can you guys guess how many of those times he scored a touchdown? Nine. No, how many times that he actually got to score oh. the touchdown? Oh. Twice. Mm-hmm. Once. Yeah. Wow. Because everybody I don't knows believe in handing the, the ball to the running back. You give Saquon those nine carries, he's the touchdown yeah. leader. Everyone's yeah. rooting for Derrick Henry because he's a touchdown leader. But if you give Saquon those nine touchdowns, he's going to bust over. But unfortunately, our quarterback squats 600 pounds. And I told Toddy, that's 12,000 pounds you got to get through. We got we got some big dudes over there. So I, I'm feeling really good about the Eagles right now, man. You know, I was going to wear my Super Bowl patch jersey, but I'm going to save that for December 2nd. Because when we come in here after that, after we go to Baltimore, Maryland, and come back with the W, y'all ain't going to stand me. I'm on my shit. Yeah, I saw uh, a tush push meme recently. I wish I could find it because uh, it, it was hilarious. But it was basically like um, when Jalen Hurts sees the opportunity to do a tush push, and it's like the guy who's like just cooking, and 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 then it's kind of like Saquon, as Kevin said, is kind of just getting robbed time and time again even though he keeps getting robbed when it comes to getting those six fantasy points or six real life points, um, he's still putting up major numbers. The only thing, the only other name I would throw into that offensive player of the year conversation is Kevin's newest star, Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon is racking up the numbers. He missed some time though. So it's going to be hard for him to do it. He missed, he missed three games. But if people are like, hey, Lamar's got something to say too. They're not winning though. You know, yeah. you got to have it all. This ain't the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> you got you got to have it all here. Yeah, that's very true. Um, but before you pass Kevin, it on, talking about gambling, but real quick, I had four fifty on the line, Sean. I'm texting oh, Tyson. I'm taking a list of the, to to Benny Hanna. Zach hurts four receptions. <laughs> He had two receptions, Sean. The very last drive, they throw it to him three times. Yep. Listen, oh. we ain't going. Call him. Tell him to cancel. So, oh, I'm, I'm happy to know you made it out, Sean, because I told Ty today I'm out. And, and what did he do? Send me his parlay. He is a horrible friend for all the listeners out there. I am an addict trying to get out, and he just <laughs> keeps feeding. Oh, my God. That's why we – They have come funny. that Kevin is talking about his parlay stories, his parlay adventures on the podcast. I love to, I just love to see it. Well, that, that's why we have Vonnie's hotline, because he, he is our gambling expert on this podcast. Um, Kevin, one final question that I wanted to ask you, just because you, you mentioned their names um, during your response, and you mentioned Larry Bird. Um, what's the nickname that Cooper DeGene and Reed Blankenship have as a duo? So another quick storyline. They were uh, a shirt that said, like, White Corners or something. And I told exciting I called, whites, exciting whites. And I called Toddy. I said, Commander's money line. We're done. <laughs> We're cooked. This is over. Everyone else can talk about it, but the moment they start focusing on it, we're fucked. They're going to start playing like shit. And you know what? I, I'm a big fan of the Milky Way. <laughs> but I mean, you know, there's not a lot of white guys out there, so they, they can be whatever. But I am a huge fan of the Milky Way. Toddy, what do you think about the Eagles right now? Um, I think they're they're very talented. The roster is, I think it's one of the best in the league. I think Jalen Hurts has been he's been playing well because uh, he hasn't really been turning the ball over, and I feel like that's been something that um he had to clean up early on in the season. Saquon has been playing out of his ass. Um, you got guys like uh, AJ Brown on on the playing the X receiver. Uh, no one can really guard him, so it's like okay. And then you look at the Commanders, who were a very exciting team. And, yes, I was one of those guys saying, well, the Commanders are number one in the division, Kevin. You got to see them. And I was going to pick the Commanders to win, but then I saw that the game was in Philly, and I was like, "Uh (laughs) uh-oh. I was like, "Uh 
I said, I don't know now. Um, but then I saw I got swindled when Sean was saying commanders, commanders, commanders. I was like, well, maybe they cover the spread. Durs. Um, was, I was gonna say not commanders, it was, it was Durs. Yeah, Durs. 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 Maybe, maybe the Durs cover the spread. And it looked good up until about like the third quarter, and then it just everything kind of just spiraled after that. Saquon it's like an avalanche caught like a 40, 50 yard pass, and he's on my fantasy team, by the way. Um, so I was I was cheering on the inside, but it was just uh you know, Saquon just happened, <laughs> and you know, you you heard the, the Eagles fans at the post game. Uh, for Amazon, you heard them saying "Thank you, Giants," while he was like at the uh, while he was talking at the little yep. podium or whatever, and you kind of just wonder like, how did the Giants just let this guy just walk scot free? Like, hey, we saw we all saw the HBO Max, and like, what type of clown show is going on with the Giants right now? Like, it's so bad. That Mr. Gabagool himself is supposed to be starting on Sunday. DeVito is coming back. But let's get back to the let's get back to the game itself. Uh, I thought J- or Jaden Daniels definitely looked like a rookie in this game. Um he looked I don't know if he's healthy all the way, but at the same time, I thought that he wasn't making a lot of nice throws. Um Terry McLaurin was non existent. Locked up. Yeah, as I you know, you just wait. You 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 cue Kevin in in some of these things, and you just you just let it happen. Um, it was <laughs> it was like you saw a really good team go up against a team that was is not really good. I wouldn't say they're not really good. They're just not. They haven't played a meaningful game in God knows how long. This was like the biggest game that they played in how many years. It's been a while. The Steelers game was pretty big, too. Yeah, that was also another big game. But I think that, you know, this in division, they're winning the division. It's It was a big deal for them. So um, I think the Eagles are gonna, just going to get better, and I think the Commanders are going to kind of just come back to earth a little bit. Um, I did have the Commanders making the playoffs this year. I did have the Eagles winning this division. Um, so... I think it went as I would have thought that it would have went. Um, I do still think the Commanders and Eagles probably split this year. Um, when they Why are you lying they, to the people, Toddy? I'm not lying. I'm what did you that. see that makes you have any faith that it's going to work in Washington? Say that one more time. We cut out. What did you see? Just give us a couple of things that you saw that you're like, eh, they'll fix it and they'll turn things around in Washington. Uh, a healthy, a healthier Jaden Daniels. Um, I do think Terry will they'll figure out a way to get Terry McClure in the ball. I don't even think they try to. You see the show Prison Break? Is that what they're gonna do? <laughs> hey man, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna change. So if Austin Eckler's gonna have 87 receiving yards again and Zach Ertz is the second leading receiver, then maybe they have a shot, Toddy. But I, I think you're trolling. I truly in your in your hearts of hearts don't think you think they have a chance to beat us because they didn't show anything to be like, eh. I mean, I feel like Jaden Daniels will play better in the game at home against you guys. So, so Jaden um, Daniels fixes everything. I mean, he's a quarterback. He's he's pretty good. He's the reason why they're where they are right now. So, I mean, like Toddy said, they haven't played nobody. Every time they play somebody, they lose. So, is he really good, or you know, they got to play the Giants twice? I'm not saying they're going to win the division, Kevin. You're saying they're going to beat us, which is insane. <laughs> but for time purposes, I'll let you go. I just wanted the listeners to know that you don't have nothing. You just think that it's just going to work better. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. everyone has a dream. Yeah, that's why I'm giving my opinion on the show. I think that they can still split with you guys. But, I mean, that's not really saying much because I feel like you guys will still be able to win the division because your record's going to be better than theirs. And that's okay. Well, to uh, follow up on two things, First, when Kevin asked, like, what are they going to do differently? I have no idea. <laughs> like, give Terry McLaurin the ball more. That would be my suggestion. But he ran if he's 20, getting 25 routes and got one pass. Yeah, I know. He's not even being targeted. And so it's like, if if he's just getting locked up, then there's not much they could really do about it. Like, maybe Noah Brown from the Ohio State University 
could get more involved because he seems to have become their second receiver. Um, but this touches on something from early in the show. But despite the fact that I cannot give you any logic or reasoning as to how the commanders will beat the Eagles and what would be different, I'm probably still going to pick the commanders the next time they play the Eagles. And that touches on the fact that, yeah, I probably made my pick last week out of probably 50% hate. And last week, like genuinely, I thought the commanders would win. But now that I'm reevaluating it, probably 50-50, like an even 50-50. Uh, so I was doing some politic in there, but you know that that hurt me overall um, in our pick'em. But even through my hiatus, top two, and I ain't two. So let's knock on some wood if you're with me, and hope I can keep that going. Um,